For this exercise, we'll use a foam roller, could be a short one like this or a longer one, to create more tension through our core for a more challenging dead bug variation. So this setup is the same as a regular dead bug except for the addition of the foam roller. With a regular dead bug, you'd have your head either on the floor or on a small pillow. Tuck your chin so that you can gaze diagonally over the tops of your knees. From here, engage your core, pulling up from your pelvic floor, drawing in through your lower abdomen, belly button down toward your spine, press your lower back into the floor, wrap your ribs in and down, and you should feel tension here in your core. From here, we would lift up, up, and then go into our dead bug variation with our knees stacked just slightly forward of our hips, not in here, but stacked and then slightly forward of those hips. Now, the setup is the same, except that now we're going to use the foam roller and place it on the tops of our thighs, hands on the foam roller. So now we'll press our hands into the foam roller and pull our thighs into the foam roller, pressing and pulling, creating this additional tension that you should feel through your core. Now you can hold here and just breathe and that's gonna be an intense set of breaths, right? You can then progress to adding some leg movement. So one option is to keep your knee bent and simply lower your leg toward the floor. Heel can touch the floor or not. We wanna lower to the point that is challenging for us without losing the engagement or lifting our lower back up off the floor. Or you can extend it straight out. Again, the lower it is to the floor, the harder this will be. So you'll do it on one side and then repeat on the other side, alternating. Again, make sure that you're not, as you are pulling your legs into the foam roller, you're not pulling in here. They should still stack up, knees over hips. <sighs> Inhale as you extend that leg or lower it toward the floor. <sighs> and exhale as you pull in.